and you need to be careful with your fingers so first we're gonna do the tongue lid and slowly pull the whole nib with the feet upwards Now let's review this Chinese fountain pens. I am a fan of fountain pens as you can see. And I've made um, a review of the platinum fountain pens that I have and let's see if these are comparable to those uh, fountain pens. And these pens are quite affordable. Okay now, um, hi guys. So. We have here our inks, the diamond ink, and I'm going to put this on the fountain pens or inside the fountain pens. So this is a tunlet fountain pen. It's very nice. The belt is quite good and it's heavy and the pen has beautiful design. Now we have our Jin Hao fountain pen. Surprisingly, these pens are lightweight. I bought brown and a clear color. The pen has, as you can see, etched Jin Hao on the cap. Let's check these pens and I'm going to open the tunnelit uh, uh, fountain pen first. Just remove the cap and also you can see that it comes with its own ink converter. Just twist the converter to get your ink and I'll show you guys later how to do this. Next, let's uh, check the Jin Hao pen. I've noticed you can pull the cap out. You need to unscrew the cap and it also includes this free ink converter. The ink converter has its own Jin Hao name etched on the side. And to put back the cap, just screw it back again. Now, the diamond ink, I'm going to show you guys if these inks are waterproof or fade proof. And as you can see here, this is jet black. This is the ink color. You see the name below the bottle this one is soft mint it's my favorite color and I'm going to use this inks and we're gonna test it later we have here our bent nibs I bought this um, nibs from the same store of the Jin Hao pens I wanted to try how bent nibs work if these nibs will work for me and I will see if it will do good with the drawings or writing and I am going to put the links where to buy this um, nibs and the Jin Hao pens on the description and the tunnelit of course on the description box I'm going to show you guys how to remove the fountain pen nib and replace the nib with the bent nib that I just bought and you need to be careful with your fingers so first we're going to do the tongue lid and slowly pull the whole nib with the feet upwards. Then when you pull it out, it will come off and all of the nib and the feet are both removed from this uh, tongue lid fountain pen. The Jin Hao pens have a different story here. I don't have to pull um, with the full effort. So the nib comes off easily and you can put it back in without an effort or without even removing the feed of the fountain pen. I'm going to do the Jin Hao pens. Just uh, push the uh, fountain pen bent nib to place it on the inside of the feed and I'm kind of worried if it easily come off when I ride with it. Let's see later. I'm securely placing everything in. With the tongue lid, it's different. You have to check the groove inside to fit the feed and the nib. And the nib should be in line with the feed before you push all of them 
and the hole on top. Now let's give this a big push with effort there and put the converter back in. I'm going to try here a pipette if it'll work to fill this uh, fountain pens with ink from Diamond. Let's see if this technique will work. And of course we're going to need a paper towel for our mess. Let's begin. Let's start with a soft ink. I'm going to do the twist of the uh, ink converter on this sunlit fountain pen inside the diamond uh, soft mint ink bottle. Carefully you need to twist the converter upwards so that you can get the ink. And again I'm trying it since it didn't go well the first time. You can just twist it up and it seems it's going to pull the ink up inside the converter. You can see it's easy peasy. Let's clean the pens. They're very messy. It's splotching everywhere. You just need to clean it with a paper towel. Or if you have a rag, you can just use that. Now let's check if it's going to write and it needs to clean more before we go to the next fountain pen. Now I'm writing with the bent nib. It needs practice to use these nibs and doing some strokes as you can see here. And the inks get attached to my fingers while I'm swiping it off. Now let's do the gin hell pens. I'm using the black or jet black ink and I am going to pull the converter up and I'm gonna use a pipette to see if it will work what I'm thinking how it will work so see here it didn't get in the hole of the converter okay so that is not going to be effective I'm putting the ink back inside the bottle Now let's fill this um, one up with the right way from the nib and the feed then twisting the ink converter slowly so that it's just gonna pull the ink inside the ink converter of this Jin Hao pen. Now I've already filled this one with the jet black ink and then let's clean the mess since the fountain pen is gonna be that messy we just need to clean everything up and I've noticed with this Shin Hao fountain pen since it's light winged um, the writing is kind of fun it's smooth unlike sunlit and again with the bent nib it needs to have more control and needs more practice on how to use this pen or this bent nib Let's begin the test of the diamond ink. I have here my scrap watercolor paper. I usually reuse cut out watercolor paper to recycle instead of throwing them. Let's test the soft mint ink. I'm going to write fade proof. It's supposed to be waterproof. I don't know what I was thinking why I wrote fade proof. So just uh, ignore that fade proof is different um, it should be waterproof and let's see the ink washed off easily and the word test is barely seen on this soft mint ink And I'm going to go for the jet black ink with the Jin Hao fountain pen that I, I've put this uh, ink into. And I wrote waterproof or water resistant. And I applied water. Same thing. It's not waterproof actually. Now I'm testing the consistency. <laughs> consistency. Sorry after a minute if it will wear off after applying water and you can see that I wrote applied and after a minute and then I tested both color of inks 
So here I'm gonna show you guys the comparison of the Platinum Meteor between um, using this with a carbon ink, uh, the waterproof uh, testing. So I've made a video last time. I'm gonna put it in the description box. You can just look for it. Uh, between the inks that I have, the diamond ink and the carbon ink. So it, ac it actually doesn't matter what type of fountain pens you are using. It's just that the inks that you're gonna put into or inside your uh, fountain pens will be uh, different. It will vary. And of course, if you're gonna use your fountain pens to draw and then do some watercolor, then definitely the carbon ink works well than the diamond ink. Diamond ink is just for your calligraphy um, purposes or uses. So that's much better than, well, actually both. But of course, if you are on a budget, then definitely you can just use a diamond ink. All right, to sum it all up, I can say the Jinhao and Tunlit fountain pens are affordable and if you are on a budget, diamond ink is also a good ink to put in these fountain pens where you can practice your calligraphy or you can use it for everyday writing, but not for drawing. Just remember that. And it also has many colors to choose from. I put on the link in the description box where I bought this um, pens and diamond ink. You can check them out. All right. Hope you liked the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell button. I do videos every Tuesday and Friday. See you in the next video.